Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Mina and I'm going to be sharing with you 15 tips on how to not suck at the 100 baby challenge. First things first, I'm going to start off with some lot traits. I'm going to be going over a few lot traits that I think are actually really good. So the ones that I like are good schools on a ley line and child's play. With good schools, um, kids will do better in school and they'll get they'll earn grades faster. On a ley line, you have a chance of getting twins, triplets, whatever. And child's play, toddlers will learn skills faster. These, I believe, are all traits that you get with city living, which I think are amazing. But if you don't have city living, which I'm sure a lot of you don't, or maybe you do, I don't know. Um, some pretty good um, lot traits that I used to do with my first time around doing the 100 baby challenge. I used to do fast internet. I used to do homey or natural light or even like science layer. You know, romantic aura is also a really good trait to have for a lot. So these are just kind of like things. I think city living, the traits that come with city living are like really amazing because you also get penny pixels. Um, but yeah, just kind of pick really good lot traits. And with lot traits, we're also going to be going ahead and going over um, just traits in general of like stuff that I like to use for my sim. So here we have my sim Gina Linetti and we're just gonna quickly go over her traits. So she is a neat sim, she's family oriented and she's romantic. I think these are really good traits to have for the sim because romantic, they'll be able to flirt a little bit easier. They'll get romance points a little bit faster, family oriented. They'll learn parenting skills faster, I believe. Um, they just generally like being around their kids a lot and I pick neat because I like them being neat But there's some other ones that would be good as well um, You know cheerful is another one that's good. I th even think Ambitious or even just being like a good sim, but what is actually a most important in traits is actually their aspiration so you want to pick an aspiration that is like really easy for them to complete because they can't leave the house I think with her, the first one she completed was like super parent, but there's also like big happy family that's really easy to do. Um, she's a renaissance sim right now. You could even like have them live in Sulani and do like the beach life. If you have like busts of dust, you can also have them be like a perfectly pristine sim. Just like really easy aspirations that you can like get them to do. I would not suggest the animal one because you only have eight spots unless you're playing with mods. You only have eight spots and the animals do count as some of the spots in the household, which I don't agree with because like you don't actually play with them. They just kind of live there, but you know, it's whatever. <laughs> but yeah. And so this also leads into the next part. If you guys are doing, making sure you're doing your aspirations, use the points to actually get stuff. So if we go into Gina's rewards here, she has 3,000 rewards that she can spend on anything. The ones that I would suggest spending on are like the, the fertile one or even like the money tree, just stuff that's gonna help you with the 100 baby challenge. Honey, tr the money tree is really, really useful because you can get a lot of, like a lot of money, a lot of money. And I'll put on the screen how much money a day you can get from it. Cause I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember at the top of my head right now. I would also suggest living in like a tiny home. Um, you don't have to make like a micro home, but you do want to do like a tier two um, tiny home because you'll gain skills faster. Your bills will be less expensive. They'll be happier more often. So you'll be able to progress throughout the 100 baby challenge a little bit faster than normal, um, which I think it's like amazing. If you have tiny living, like do the tiny home, like 100% I recommend. You also want to make sure that you have like the next baby daddy picked out. And I think here we have like Jacksepticeye that might be the next one. Um, I think we even have like this dude that could be like the next one. There, none of the pictures are popping up, but you know. Just always make sure to have the next baby daddy picked out or baby mama, whatever whatever you want to do. It's just so as soon as she gives birth to the baby, you can get her immediately pregnant. Now, if you guys didn't know this, but your sim actually does not age while she is pregnant. So <laughs> you could have like, I think she has like 30 something kids that she's had so far and some of her kids have actually passed away. Like... Yeah, like Imani passed away, Ugh, that sucks. But like she has so many kids already. 
because I'm constantly, I've constantly gotten her pregnant immediately after. And another thing that I highly suggest is I know a lot of people like to do like the painting skill or like the writing skill to make money. Try doing like a freelance career. I know she's doing consignment commentator right now, but try doing like a freelance career um, or even like a work from home career where she doesn't have to leave to do it so she can just get more money that way she could be a like stay at home working mom she doesn't have to not do anything so if we quickly go into here for like career we can look at like what freelance careers that she can do so she could do like computer experts she could do like electrified artists or even fighting words don't worry about like if you have the paranormal pack don't worry about like the spooky investigating because she does need to leave to do that, but you need a license for that anyway. But like these three, I think are really good because if you level up enough, and I think it's around like level six or seven, enough in like the skill, like painting or writing or whatever, you can start making like 2,000 simoleons a day, like 2,000 or more a day. And sometimes they, some things do get rejected, like some of the assignments do get rejected, but I'd rather make sure that I have 2,000 simoleons each and every time than like maybe my sim will paint a masterpiece. And I don't think enough people talk about this, but like if you're going to be painting anyway, might as well do like the electrified artist, you know? And so we're going to start getting into like the layout of the house. You may have noticed like the bathrooms are a little weird. And the reason for this is because like I wanted to make stall bathrooms. I don't have Discover University, so I can't legitimately do stalls. But when you're doing like a big household of like max eight Sims or like if even if you have like MC, MC Command Center where you can up it to like however many Sims you want in a household, it starts getting a little hectic because one sim may need to like take a shower another sim may need to use the bathroom so i've just kind of created stalls so like they can go into the bathroom they can take a bath or they can take a poop whatever you know whatever they need to do um if you do like this is if like you're doing tiny home or you're doing like a smaller home but if you're like building a really big home having multiple bathrooms does help with that congestion um, it's just something I didn't think about and I struggled a lot when I was first streaming the 100 baby challenge But I've I figured it out now on my second go around of the 100 baby challenge Which by the way, if you guys have not seen my 100 baby challenge playlist I'm gonna be leaving the link down below in the description box. So make sure to go check it out This is my second playthrough of the 100 baby challenge And then another thing to kind of think about is you're gonna want to make sure that you have teens Like if your sim is busy and I don't know why she's just standing there but if your sim is busy, you can have the teens like potty train them or even like talk to them. So let's go ahead and hit here and do potty train Ares or Aries. I don't know why I said Ares, it's Aries, but it's spelled wrong. So like he can just sit there and potty train them, you know? And he's also getting, I think he's also getting like the parenting skill or he's just potty training them for you. So like if she's, let's say cooking or whatever like cleaning let's just have her clean and like your sim is busy he can be potty training her and i know it can be the other way around too but i'm just saying or if you need two toddlers potty train teens are extremely helpful so helpful and i love having teens okay so we're gonna start getting into like the next segment of the video where it's like smaller tips that you may have not have known that you could do so like the first one <laughs> my sim is like getting ready to go to bunk but she has her own room by the way like her bedroom's up here and I guess we have two toddlers that are aging up. I don't play with this save anymore. This was my original 100 baby challenge save. But anyway, um, getting into like the smaller little tips that you should kind of consider. Um, if you want to prevent the cake from being eaten so you don't have to make so many cakes, put a candle on it. Oh, Hephaestus is aged up as well. Uh, put a candle, put candles on it and then put it away. Nobody's going to touch it because there's candles on it. So the next time you need to age somebody up, you can just have them blow out candles. And then another tip that I have is like, please, 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 for the love of all things good, do not put toddlers in a high chair and try to feed them. It is annoying to do that. Um, it's easier to just put the food on the floor. Even I've seen people have like this display thing that I think comes from like um, dying out. And I'll put like an image here probably of um, where they put food in it and the toddlers can actually grab the food themselves. I don't have that pack. I don't have any way of getting it. It's either like dine out or like get to work or something. It's probably get to work more than I'm thinking about it. 
where they can just feed themselves. So like just have food ready for them. <laughs> this is another tip. Have food ready for toddlers because sometimes when they wake up, they are moody, they are hangry, and they want food now. And if you don't feed them fast enough, there is a potential and there's like this weird glitch that's going around. There is a potential if you don't feed them fast enough that they could get taken away by the social worker. So try to have food ready for them as soon as you can. And then if you have the pack where this comes from, which is like the wizard's pack, I don't remember what it's called. Having this little cauldron here is like a night, a lifesaver because you can make 12 servings and it'll keep it there for like a really long time. And everybody can just grab a plate and just eat like... You can even grab all servings and put them in the fridge to have ready for the toddlers. But yeah, no, this is a really big lifesaver. And then another thing, I'm going to quickly have him come and clean this up. Make sure to have this trash can. I didn't know about this. I didn't know about this. And I feel like some people might not know about this. But make get this trash can as soon as you have the money for it because it's going to make money for you. Every time a sim throws away food in it, you get money. And what's not better than having easy money? I mean, it's a freaking lifesaver. It used to be to where like you could throw stuff in there and still make money, but I don't know if they're ever going to fix that. Those are my 15 tips. I hope you guys enjoyed them and I hope you found this video useful. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more 100 Baby Challenge content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.